watching my first title win again. <laughs> After you topped it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bam! Team Raw! The superstars from the Red Brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy. The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner and their opponents, the Webmaster, the Anomaly Lady Woman, Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair, Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. Hold on tight. We're about to witness one of the most anticipated Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated debuts in years. This rookie superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to blaze her own trend. She's pushed into the corner. Well measured. Now a series of vicious sounds in the turnbuckle. Stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Yeah, had that scalpel. Kick to the 
midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide! Covered by Ripley! Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. Well, if it isn't little Justine, I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree. LJ. Someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit. And I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides, I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know, that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realize I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not. Having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted, legend-obsessed WWE management. Especially when I win. So you're in? I'm in. But I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. 
Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. Ruthless Universe, you know I'm not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be can't miss. So don't miss it. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, the Webmaster, the Anomaly Lady Woman. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, grace. Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest. She still has a lot to prove. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. Welcome to main event where Justine's niece is looking to put her Survivor Series debut in the rearview mirror against up and coming superstar Ava Moreno. I've seen Ava at the PC and she's as determined to make it in WWE as anyone out there. She'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent. Come on, Corey, give Ava's opponent a chance. Rumor has it she's been hustling to get much needed ring reps, so I feel like I'm looking forward to seeing what she can do. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Boom! Strikes with a kick. Ooh. She anticipated that one. Shoulder tackle. Oh, man. She can end it here. She kicks out with authority. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Uh-oh. Their opponent is all but helpless right here. Matt Knees just exerting dominance over their opponent. And now, and the fallaway slam. looking blow and look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy Ooh, dislocate your jaw plenty of hits coming her way now and will this 
be it. She kicks out at one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Uncorks a thunderous kick. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Fillet your chest. Into the STO. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. At this point, this is incredibly ill advised. You're in the middle of a match. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Ooh! Well placed kick. Bam! Escape just in time. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Able to capitalize on Ava's mistake. Very measured elbow jump. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. She still might have more coming. Devastating kick. Ava telegraph. Come on, you don't get a WWE official. It was clearly an accident, Corey. But one that it looks like Ava is willing to take advantage of. Jump table under the chair. A chair, a down referee, and an opportunity. What's she gonna do? Is she going to use the chair? I guess she decided to fight fair. Ouch. And Ava Moreno gets the win. It seems like she was trying to do the honorable thing, but it backfired. You'd think winning would be more important than honor, Byron. Either way, I can't imagine this second-generation superstar is very happy with the outcome. At least one person's happy here. This could be the type of win that could really generate some momentum for Ava Moreno. Well, pretty pleased with how that match went. Of course you are. You cheated. What are you talking about? The ref certainly didn't see anything. You pulled out a chair. Ava may have done that, but you of all people should know that it doesn't matter what actually happens. It only matters what others, in this case the ref, sees or think they see. <laughs> Me of all people? What does that mean? I told you I would make the WWE Universe stand up and take notice! You planned this from the start, didn't you? Maybe not this exactly, but I knew I had to use an opportunity against you to make a statement. Didn't go exactly as I planned, but lucky for me, you don't even know how to cheat right. And now, everyone's talking about the victory I claimed over little Justine! Ava's right about that. It's the most buzzworthy main event match we've seen in a while. And not just the finish. You two are really going at it. It's got so much attention that management wants a rematch. A fair one this time, I hope. Let me prove I'm better than her. Yes, because matches in WWE are always above board and no one tries any shenanigans. But to your point, the rematch will be no DQ, which means shenanigans are legal. <laughs>